Hi guys, welcome to Pinus Game Space. In today's episode of Call of Duty Mobile Tips and Tricks, I share with you guys my opinion and take on the right control mapping or layout customization on the Call of Duty Mobile or PUBG Mobile. Please, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel today. It will really mean a lot. And um, with that said, let's get down to the business of today. Now, I'm not saying it's not okay to go for any control customization layout you saw somewhere, but that is not really how to play smart and also how to play with style. Take myself for an instance. I think to some extent, it's okay for me to claim the title of a hardcore shooting and action gamer because I've been playing a lot of action and shooting games for a while now. And if you've played other shooting games, you realize that their control mapping is almost identical, especially the camera, which is the view button, the fire and movement controls. So from my end, I stick with the default controls that come with the game. I apply my rules of thumbs, that is know which position my thumbs are most comfortable to reach every button and tweak their sizes if the option is available. And that's simply because when I'm dealing with what I'm familiar with, I tend to perform better. And the same thing goes with for everyone. Because when you're dealing with what you're familiar with, you tend to perform better and your, and your proficiency skills will be at its maximum. And every enemy that comes your way, you slay them because you're already used to your controls. So today, forget about any four finger, three finger or whatsoever way of fi of finger placing controls. Go out there, play tons of matches, aligning every controls just how you will be able to maximize your chances of winning. If you're already used to the default Call of Duty Mobile kind of controls, don't change it for any controls you see other pro players using because it might not work for you. Believe me, I've been there. Couple times I've seen, I've seen uh, 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 fancy control markings and I tried to emulate them but it never really worked for me. At long last, I see for myself coming back to the default controls, which I'm already used to. And even if it's gonna work for you, it will take you a while to train and get familiar with that control mapping. Now, with all that said, I believe it's safe for me to now exit this ride as I've reached my destination. Thank you guys for sticking around. And overall, it depends on what really works best for you. Subscribe to my channel today. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Pinos out. Airdrop is coming. You are now leaving the shores of Pinos Game Space. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and comment. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so we can grow together while certain trends with every new update.